Hello everyone. Today we are going to read Kaya's Day at the Beach. The author is Radha Rangarajan. The illustrator is Lavanya Naidu and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Kaya's Day at the Beach. Hello world, Kea peeks out of her burrow for the first time ever. The sea is far away from her home. Ma, can we go play in the water? No, no, we have lots of things to do today, says Ma. So who is Kea? Kea is this little crab and this is Kea's mother. And when Kea comes out of her burrow for the first time, the burrow is the hole in the sand where Kea has buried herself and now she's coming out for the first time. And the sea is far away. So Kea wants to go play in the water and her mother says, no, we have lots of things to do. And so let's do them. Hurry up, Kea. It's time to eat. Lots of yummy treats in the sand for us. Oi, don't wander away, says Ma. So as Kea is coming out and she is seeing all these other crabs, she's looking here, looking there. This is her first time out in the sand. And so she is try, she's go, trying to see everything and she's going away and her mo mother says, hurry up, it's time to eat. There are lots of tasty things in the sand and don't go far from me, come with me. So let's see what Kea sees in the sand. Who is that, Ma? asks Kea. That crab who is in such a hurry and knocking everyone over. A soldier crab, says Ma. Didn't you notice that she is just like you and I? We do enjoy marching, left, right, left. So as Kea is walking along, she sees this other crab and this crab is in a really big hurry and she's knocking everybody aside and keeps going left, right, left. And Kea's mother says that is a soldier crab. Soldier crabs go marching left, right, left, they go straight. Who is that, Ma? asks Kea. Oh, that crab was just here and now it's gone. Ah, look close enough. You will find many, many eyes staring back at you. That's the ghost crab says Ma. So next, who does Kea see? She sees the ghost crab. The ghost crab, as you can see, has their eyes on top of their head and uh, completely separate. And so they can see all around them. And this is the ghost crab. They are able to hide in the sand because they have the same color as sand. They're very fast and they go hide if they think there is something scary there. Who is that, Ma? Whispers Kea. Right there, that crab waving at us. Hello, fiddler crab, Ma waves back. He likes to show off his big claw. So Kea sees this other crab who is holding out his claw like this and waving. And 
her mother says that is a fiddler crab a claw is this part of the crab's leg that that the crab uses to hold things and the fiddler crab has a really big claw in front and they like to show it off trying to scare people but this crab is waving at kea and her mom and who is that ma asks kea oh did that crab just hide in the sand i stay away from the moon crabs wants ma they might just eat you for lunch so here is a moon crab and the crab is able to hide in the sand and they are very dangerous they are they, they like to eat other little crabs and so kea's ma tells her to stay away from the moon crabs it looks like we are closer to the water now ma says kea eh hey, the sea is coming in and it will soon gobble up the beach says ma kea is sad it's time to go back to the burrow so what happens the tide comes in so twice a day what happens is the tide comes in the water level goes up and the tide goes out and the water level goes back and so when kea finally gets to the water when they get closer to the water it looks like it's closer but really the tide is coming in and soon it will gobble up it will eat up and swallow the beach it will make the beach shorter so it's too dangerous to stay on the beach and ma says it's time to go back to the burrow it's such a big big world outside thinks kea i can't wait to go out again tomorrow kea slowly falls asleep her 10 legs tired from all the marching she dreams of visiting the beach again left right left so kea is so excited at the end of the day but she's also tired she is she has been marching all day and so she is tired and she goes to sleep but she is dreaming about going to the beach again tomorrow because she likes being there she can't wait to go again and she dreams about it she dreams herself marching on the beach left right left on the sand left right left in the waves left right left kea marches on in her sleep so here is kea and her mother and kea is sleeping and dreaming about going out again tomorrow marching on the sand marching on the waves and she dreams about marching in the beach a cast of crabs let's head to the beach and meet kea and her crab friends most crabs walk and swim sideways did you know that a group of crabs is called a cast so now we are going to meet kea's crab friends that she met at the beach on her walk and a group of crabs is called a cast and most crabs they go sideways they don't go straight like you and me they go sideways both walking and swimming so let's meet kea's friends and learn more about them soldier crabs 
thousands of soldier crabs live together at the edge of mangroves near beaches. They are small and are easy prey for shorebirds. They sift for food in the sand and whatever they don't eat, they roll into tiny balls and throw away. So a soldier crab looks like this. Kea and her mother are soldier crabs. Soldier crabs live on the edge of the beach near mangroves. Mangroves are a kind of tree that grow near beaches. And these crabs are small. And so whatever birds are, uh, are around the beach, like seagulls or, uh, you know, small shore birds, they are, they like to grab these uh, soldier crabs and eat them. So what do the soldier crabs do for food? They sift for food in the sand. Sift meaning, so you have seen how, you might have seen how you take flour and you put it through a pan with holes at the bottom so that it the flower goes through and then any stones or something, they get left behind, they get taken out. So this is like that. The crabs are sifting, searching for food in the sand and the sand falls through and the food is left that they eat. And if they don't, if they find something, you know, and they are not able to eat it, they just roll it into a ball and throw it away. Ghost crabs. Because their eyes are on stalks, ghost crabs can see all around, but they can't see what's on top of their heads. They are one of the fastest runners on the planet. They are the color of the sand and you can barely see them as they dart across the beach. So this is a ghost crab and you can see the ghost crab's eyes, they are on stalks, they are on little stems on top of their head and so what that means is they can see all around them, front and back. Isn't that cool? Um, only thing is with the eyes like that, they can't see up, they can't see what's just above their head and they're also very fast. They run very fast and they are the color of the sand. So they're easily uh, able to hide away if there is something that scares them. They just run across and you can, you can barely see them. Fiddler crabs. Male fiddler crabs have one large claw and they use it to show how big and powerful they are. Because of the way they swing this claw, they are also called dhobi crabs. It looks as if they are washing clothes by swinging an arm. So this is a fiddler crab and you see this one claw that, that he has is bigger than the other claws and that one large claw they show it off, you know, they wave it around and they show it just so that other crabs, other uh, scary animals around them, they are, they get scared of, oh, this crab has a big claw and it might hurt me. And so it leaves the fiddler crab alone. And they're also called dobi crabs because have you seen a dobi, how he washes clothes? So that's how this crab swings his arm and that's why they are also called Dobi crabs. Moon crabs. Moon crabs have flat paddle-like legs that help them in swimming and digging. They feed on other crabs and smaller fish. When threatened, they draw their legs up under their hard shell and pretend to be dead. So this here is a moon crab and the legs you can see they're not like this. They're not like a claw. They are more flat like almost like your hand. Uh, it's, it's more like a paddle. A paddle is what you use to row a boat like that. It's flat on the end. That's how they have their legs and what that does is it helps them swim better and 
dig like a spade or a uh, a paddle for a boat and they they are dangerous to other crabs they feed on they eat other little crabs and if some big animal or something comes and makes them scared when they are threatened they just pull their legs up under their shell and they pretend to be dead that's how they stay safe i hope you enjoyed this story thank you the difficult words in this story are burrow a hole which an animal digs to live in gobble eat up swallow soldier crab a type of crab that lives on the edge of the beach and marches straight ahead in large groups ghost crab a type of crab that is sand colored and has its eyes on stalks on top of its head fiddler crab or dobi crab a type of crab with one large claw in front that it waves to show how big it is moon crab a type of crab with flat legs that help it to swim and dig very well mangrove a type of small tree that grows near the edge of the sea try these questions which crab goes straight and not sideways which crab is the most dangerous in this story write down which is your favorite type of crab in the story and why it is your favorite spot the crab hidden around kea's beach are many crabs can you find them all six soldier crabs four ghost crabs two fiddler crabs three moon crabs so in this picture you can see there are many crabs write down how many crabs of which type did you see whether it is a soldier crab ghost crab fiddler crab or a moon crab write down how many did you see